And, and basically, the Ty's Lost Decade begins with your career and association with the ice capades in the early 80s. Right. It started out by uh, discussing how life on the road at 19 years old mm -hmm. Uh, gave you some problems, but didn't really agree <laughs> with you that much. Right. And uh, let me just go into some of the problems, because I, I, I think it's a lesson for all kids at 19. Uh, yeah. But you, you, the first thing you, you, you had a problem with was sleeping at night. Mm -hmm. I read that. That was right. your first problem. Out of being lonely and scared. Of course. At 20 years old. The second thing right. was you, you had difficulty maintaining the required weight. Absolutely. Which was a problem for the ice capade people, and yes. it was also a problem for Randy, I guess, yes. in dealing with yeah, the jumps. Yeah, everyone. It, you know, it affected everyone. Sure. And, and to, to help with this, somebody said to you, <laughs> you know, have a drink. A glass of wine. A glass of wine, and you started to drink before bed. And right. then to help with the weight control, somebody, I guess, advised you and said, why not try taking amphetamines because that will control your weight, as models, many models Yeah, it was days. the norm. That was very much the norm. And from that point on, the problems, like in most cases, got worse. Escalated, yeah. The, you know, the one glass of wine, which I did sleep, it was great. You know, I finally was sleeping. Mm -hmm. You know, turned into two, turned into a bottle, turned into, you know, me having to sneak out and, and get, the, get the booze. Yeah. Um, that turned into harder liquor. Sure. You know, it was just, sure. I don't know, I was very insecure, s scared to death. You know, I'd ne always been so sheltered mm -hmm. in my in the amateur world. Everything was done for me, right. and all of a sudden, I'm uh, on the road for nine months. I remember turning 21 on the way to Pittsburgh on a bus. Um, not that I'm complaining. I mean, the money was d d fabulous. Sure, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was still a kid right. up here, right. and just doing things I wasn't used to. So those three years with ice capades, and they were rough. Mm -hmm. That was like my high school. And the thing is, I'm proud of myself for getting through it. I didn't bail. Yes. And, I, and it, I thought about it, believe me. As you said, it was difficult, mm -hmm. but you were very open, and uh, I was wondering why you chose to, to do that. Well, I was tired of lying. Okay, good. And That's I was tired reason. of, you know, putting on this perfect, little perfect skater act. It's like, this is, it just wasn't me. I'm not good at holding things in, and I was holding a lot in. And when you do that, at some point, it's, you know, you're going to burst. Sure. And I, my burst was in 1988, and it was, it was huge. It yeah. made headlines. Yes. And, Not uh, good headlines. I mean, you, you had hit, uh, I guess, <laughs> rock bottom emotionally at that point. Mm -hmm. But you, got, you dealt with it. Dealt with it. And I'm not proud of it. No. But no. It, I was driven to that point. And the bottom line, I wasn't able to speak up for myself. I didn't know how to say no. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your manager. You have. I was. I was a people pleaser. Sure. And I still am to a, you know, a, a bit now. Mm -hmm. um, but with the help of therapy. <laughs> yeah. I'm. <laughs> did, did you, a lot of did, therapy. You, did you think at that time that, that your career was pretty much over? I wanted it to be over. Yeah. Obviously, you know, right. I, I tried. You know, what I tried. Yep. And that was. It wasn't my time, obviously, because I'm here talking to you about yes. it. So yes. Yes. Um, but it was just learning to to speak up, and when you're tired, it's o it's okay to be tired. Right. You know. Right. And I know at one point uh, when you started to get better, mm -hmm. you wanted to do anything but skate. I mean, you said you would work in in, a, in Walmart. Right. I wanted to see what it was, you know, to be normal. Like regular folk. Regular folk, but <laughs> sure. it was just I had to get out. I and just try things. Sure. And, and, you know, take a vacation. I didn't, I didn't do any of this. Since you were eight years old. Right. It was always skating, skating, skating. And at some point, you know, you got to give something else a try. Have a balance. There was no balance. No balance, sure.